Hello all. Um, starting the silhouette watercolor. So I've taken my paper and uh, taped it down to a board, and I'm in the middle of drawing my uh, my piece. Now, I took my the photo I picked is a fisherman, and I like it because I think I can put a really great wash in the background here put in some kind of fuzzy background, but it's all gonna be very monochromatic and he can be one solid area. Notice now, if this was a photo of him and we could actually see you know, the parts of his um, pants and boots and stuff, it would still work, but this one just happens to be at sunset. So photos from sunset are kinda of nice. I love this one because it has these great little bitty edges where he's got little straps hanging off his jacket. He's got little straps off his little boots. Um, there's lots of detail in that fishing rod. So I'm going to quickly get this drawn. Put that fishing pole out there. Give him some legs. So he sits with just... A lot of the detail I can put in later. But I definitely want to get him in there pretty good. He's got those hip waders on that make everybody look kind of bunchy, which is kind of interesting. But they get smaller as they go to little ankles. So he's got boots here. We'll put the edge of the, sometimes I draw in things, um, even though I know I'm, I'm not gonna get to put the de details in. So I'm gonna put that in. Okay, the back of him would come up like that. His elbow would come in there. He's got a little strap hanging there. My favorite part of him is that he's got a bill on his hat, comes up, his hat comes up and over. It's a little wider on the back. He's got really short hair. He's got like some kind of a collar or a hood on that jacket. He should make sure he gets a shoulder. We have a tendency to mush their shoulders down in there and then they look like they're, they don't have any, have any shoulders, especially men. You have to put their shoulders in because it's a thing. Um, there's some little strap. There's another little strap hanging down. I've got my... My fishing pole too curved. Yeah. Has these little loops on it. Not gonna worry about putting fishing line in, that would be silly. Um, we've got trees. We're just gonna kind of indicate those in. I'm not gonna get too wound up with all that. Alright, we've got an edge here. Okay. Now one of the big things is putting in that big wash in the back. And we don't necessarily need to use the colors that, you know, they're in the photo. I'm thinking it would be fun to put in kind of some yellows and I'm gonna scoot my palette over here so you can see better. I don't have one of my school palettes here, so you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit. I'll try to use most of the colors that you're used to. We've got a yellow ochre, a little bit of red. Make kind of a decent looking orange out of it. Kind of an orange, we want kind of a nice yellow. There we go. All right, because I want this background to be really nice and soft, 
I'm going to do most of it wet into wet. Notice I'm getting the whole paper wet. Be a little bit careful not to get it too slurpy because it'll take. Now, because this painting happens to be water, and I want it to actually look like it's got water in it when I get done, I need to stay with horizontal strokes. I can't go all over the place. I've got something on my paper. Okay. Okay, now I take my colors that I've got. I mixed up some yellow ochre because I want that kind of light that's going on here. And this particular one, I'm it's kind of dark in the center, and so I'm gonna start there. Now you could do all this whole thing in blues, you could do it in purples, just depends on what you want to do here. So you decide what you're gonna do. That is really a bright yellow. That's probably a little crazier than I wanted to go, but oh well, here we go. I'm just gonna soften that up a little bit. Now, I also like that sun that we've got going, that there's a sun kind of right behind the guy's head, so he's backlit. So I'm gonna leave that area right around our guy and take my paper towel and just blot it in. Everything's kind of wet, so it will mush around, so I think I can mush everything around in there pretty good. The goal is just to have this beautiful light colorful background here. I'm just going to pull these up. Now I'm going to pull in some of these that look like water. Once again, keeping really loose, not worrying about the photo too much. I'm going to pull a little more light out of here. There we go. This, is good. this area is going to be all dark anyway because that's going to be the island that he's standing on. I want a little bit of color behind his legs there. Okay, I've got a puddle there I don't love. Okay, that's about what my background's gonna be. Now I gotta let that dry. Okay, mixing up, and I'm not gonna finish this whole painting for you today, but that gets you the background in, all right? Notice everything's covered, okay? Now, if we're going to play with Artist Black, you might want to practice this. Because Artist Black is a combination of two colors. It's Ultramarine. Where's my Ultramarine? Okay, there's Ultramarine, which you've got in your palette. Okay. Ultramarine. I'm going to double check that that's actually what I've got here. Ultramarine, nice bright wahoo blue, and brown. Okay, and you've got a sepia in yours. I have a nice dark brown in mine. Make sure you get it wet. And notice how I'm mixing up something that's really nice and dark. Okay, and that gets you black. Now, most of you will have a hard time getting it black that dark. When you put it on the paper, it should be pretty dark. Now, that's just on the gray side. Keep adding to it. Just keep adding to it. Keep adding paint to it until you've got a nice, really good black. And make sure you mix up enough of it. There's nothing worse than getting halfway through this and going, oh great, I don't have any more. Okay, so you see how that's getting a nice dark. Um, when you're doing a silhouette, you may have to put two coats on it. Okay, especially with this paper. So put one coat down, let it dry completely, come back, put another coat on it. All right, hope that makes a little bit of sense. Um, Text me or message me if you have any questions about this at all. Thanks. Bye.